Kiribon Boys Secondary School in Akuru County has been closed following a fire that burnt down one dormitory. The closure of the school coming just today after NAT Secretary General Wilson Sosion blamed the extension of end of term dates for the school unrests. Of course, the Cabinet Secretary for Education, Fred Matiangi, has dismissed those claims. The 8.30 p.m. blaze consumed most of what was in the cubicles in this dormitory, including the contents of the students' metallic boxes. A walk through the torched building revealed that the cubicles were part of the 390 students slept was congested. It is not recommended to have three beds, but uh, the spacing is supposed to be there. There's a recommended spacing and uh, the two doorways, if you could be able to look at that one. The, the, we have the two doorways. Across the fence is Kiribon Girls Secondary School and in less than a month, Kiribon Boys Secondary School has also had a section of its dormitories burnt down and most of the time, these cases are blamed on electric fault. An all too common resolution after preliminary investigations have been done. When something happens, people look at all corners. What could be the problem? Is it the leadership? Is it the, you know, and people start thinking in different direction. But already we have changed the leadership of Kiribati girls. We've not got any information from the students why they have done that. Because I cannot tell they are the ones who have done it. Maybe we are suspicious of Asun. Our investigations are still on. The change in term date was part of the reforms by the Education Ministry to curb cheating in national examinations. The school will reopen in a week's time. Bridget, Ngana, NTV, Nakuru.